In 2017, I bought this $10,000 fixer upper. And um, when we were doing the plumbing work, discovered that the water meter didn't exist in the house. Venus Kent called Greater Cincinnati Waterworks about getting a new meter for her Camp Washington home and found out she would need to replace the lead service line too. This entire front was dug up, up, up into the house and they went down very deep to wherever the, the lead line entered the house. It, it, it's in the basement. Kent's yard looks beautiful now and she knew the work had to be done, but other homeowners get their yards dug up only to discover there was no lead in the lines at all. We've had instances, just like you said, where we, the customer thought they had the lead line. We um, get a contractor out and they go out there and, and mobilize and start digging and they find out the line is copper. Verna Arnett says those digs waste time and money. And that's what a group called Confluence is trying to prevent. The large challenge across the country and certainly in the tri-state area is where are these water lines? Scott Korndike is a founding member of Confluence, which identifies new technology to solve water related problems. We've got people who understand the problem intimately. Now it's trying to figure out a, as simple as possible, a way to address the problem. I think would be very helpful to utilities to quickly determine the scope of their problem. Kent says Greater Cincinnati Waterworks makes it easy to replace lead service lines and makes it affordable. It's a given in these older communities that they're going to find lead. So I think the more important thing is making it affordable for homeowners to get their lines replaced. Lucy May, WCPO 9 News.